the day. Such a blessing to be here. Such grace upon grace from the Lord. We are also grateful to our parent, especially Bishop, having given me this great opportunity to be here today. I usually don't take this for granted. It is such a wonderful blessing to be here today. We say it repeatedly, maybe sometimes people may not understand. But people who understand about good mentorship, so good training, so mentorship, so to speak. So the good mentorship is the one who mentors, who mentors those who are still there. People who know the matters of leadership, they understand a great deal. So round of applause for Bishop. He's a He's a good mentor and he's always there for us, so he follows through. Without further ado, let's read the word of God. So let's be together in the same spirit. So let's read in the book of Galatians. Galatians chapter 6 from verse 14. Tazanorishashi. <laughs> wakurikiza ibyo amahoro n'imbabazi bibe muri bo bibe no mu bisiraheri b'Imana uhereye none ntakagire umuntu ndushya ko mfite ku mubiri nkovu za Yesu amen reka dusoreze muri rwandiko rwa mbere petero yanditse let's read in the book of first peter 29 bice bibiri murongo wa 9 first peter chapter 2 verse 9 ni kuri page 238 Ariko <laughs> Amen. So, my Magambo, to the Putin Dauchane, Man and Hai Mutko Magambo to the Hugamiraho, you must see. So, we've read a couple of scriptures that we are going to base on as we discuss the Word of God. Our theme is the new identity in Christ Jesus. Identity, identity, I think we all understand a great deal. We shall, we shall elaborate more. The reason why we need to talk about this thoroughly, these days, is see, the world or Rwandans, especially Rwandans, um, our history, a lot of people are facing a critical issue of identity. Identity crisis, people are not able to tell what it is. They wrongly explain it or they don't quite understand their identity in Christ. 
ibyo bintu hari giye umuntu yisobanura bikurikije nakaza afite sometimes a person can be defined according to the job he does akisobanura bitewe naho yavutse so sometimes you can be defined or given meaning by where your the origins amashuri yize the education nubutunza afite the positions cyangwa ibyo bintu byose bino bifatika bikagerageza kugusobanura all these tangible things may give you meaning so define you ikagwa identity muri make it can give you a certain identity ariko kubera ko biri temporary but because they are temporary rimwe umunsi babiriho ejo bikaba byavuye some are present tomorrow they are nowhere to be seen yo bivuye ho byica infatiro mu mitima yacu so when they are no more sometimes they destroy us no cyangwa utabifite nawe biramwangiza or people who don't have those things they may cause trouble ko ko ahora mu kwigereranya ahora mu kwigereranya nabandi bantu so people who don't know their identity they compare themselves to others impamvu wenda nkabaje ne bashobora kubyumva cyane so youth may understand ariko namwe mwabyumva but i believe we can all try to understand buriya umuntu kuba ndumu sore ejo mu gitondo nkumva nifuje kuba umukobwa ni crise identity yo banagize So I'm born a, a female but the next morning I want to be a male you know it's a, it's identity crisis cyangwa ukumva bibino bintu bigwira bakize bigwira bakene bigwira abantu bose these things is ubiquitous it's everywhere to rich and poor buje mubona abantu biyahura so you see people committing suicide na crise identity nta kinda bayarwanya nacyo people who commit suicide they always face a, an identity crisis kandi hari nabana babavuka mu ryango mwiza ariko ko umvago yiyahuye yiyishe yagize ate ni crise identity aba yagize muri we some are born in wealth in in, in affluent families but they com- they end up committing suicide that is a crisis of identity yeah, tubona identity. tugenda dushobora kubona ari amahoro so when we see people move we can take it as normal ariko muri we wowe no ubuze ibyirwana nabyo but on the inside you know exactly what you're fighting against abanyarwanda twega dufite amateka ashariye ku kugira crise identity ni ibintu bishoboka cyane so runners who have better history so we understand a great deal no no reka mbanze nkwereke nka nka sentom ibimenyetso byerekana umuntu wagize iyo crise identity so let me try let it. me try to talk about some of the signs of the uh, the, the crisis yageze giye kumva ravangiwe sometimes you feel confused akumva muri we ntazi biri kumubako you don't exactly understand what's going on chimwe mu bimenyetso bavuga biranga iyo crise identity so one of the signs of the identity crisis chimwe kiravuga ngo one is nuko umuntu atakaza atakaza kwigirira ikize so um you have low self esteem you don't low self esteem cyo giza vuga neza self esteem kwigirira ikize ntabwo buri wese akenera kugira ikizere kugira ngo agire ibyageraho so everyone need to be esteemed to achieve certain things ariko igihe kiragira umuntu akumva nta nikizera kigirira na ubwe but there comes a point where somebody feels less confident or not confidence at all biterwa nibyo aba yabuze it all depends on what he lacks muri make mu maranga mutima yabayavangiwe in a nutshell your emotions are wa muntu w'imbere we aba yagize ibibazo biteye ubwo the inner person is brutalize so you need self esteem to be able to achieve certain goals ariko yatangiye kumanuka mu kwigira ikizere so but when a low self esteem kicks in ikimenyekerekana ko watangiye kugira ya crise identity turi kuvuga it is a sign that you're facing um the crisis the, the identity of christ icyakabiri utangira kwibaza ku gaciro kawe you start doubting your dignity kwa se wundi abo twiganye abo twakuranye abo abandi bagabo tungana abandi badamu tungana mbese ukikompara ukumva agaciro kawe neza karabuze burundu you start comparing yourself to other people and you feel you don't have any worth kandi ikibazo tugira tuzi ko byo bishobora kuba kuko wakenye cyangwa ya ushobora kuba ufite nibihagije byose ariko kubera ya identity yagize crise ugatakaza agaciro kawe kandi ufite ibintu byose munzu so you may have everything that everyone desires but you can face that identity crisis kumva guta watakaje agaciro muri wowe so you feel you don't have worth anymore ukumva udafite intego you feel you don't have any objective anymore buri ya twese tubaye ko dufite intego so we all live because we have certain objectives intego yejo hazaza so gore y'umugabo ya projet ya ya byuziga ibyo zakwa abantu bose waye bafite intego so everyone have goals and aspirations what to aspire to become 
kubera ko buri wese afite ibyo arota zabaho afite imishinga zakora nubwo wabutabiza ariko buri muntu wese abaho abiliving ejo so all have dreams wants aspirations things to achieve buri wese abaho yumva nyine hari cyo teganyije hari cyo teganyije ubu nzakora ibi nzagera kuri ibi noneho yo wagize kiriza identity rero everyone aspires to become a certain person tomorrow ariko yagize kiriza identity but when you face this crisis utangira kuba ntante gufite you start living aimlessly abanyarwanda ukitwa mbaru ukeye so you you don't know what to do nabona muratuje cyane muri kuvyumva cyane so i you come i believe you kumva uri mbaru ukeye nyine ibindi se by'umwana by'umugore by'umugabo ibyo hazaza ntabwo ari byanje Uh, you live today life you don't think about the future so you don't expect anything greater in the future yo tangiye kubaho rero ntantege ufite ikindi kikubaho no kutumva impamvu yo kubaho kwawe so when you start living without any goal you don't understand the, your reason of being ukabona purpose no no ufite your purposeless impamvu yo kubaho nuyibona So there is no point in living. Somebody reaches a point of committing suicide because there is no clear goal of living. Cyangwa akayitamo kubyakira nyine ariko akumva nta nta mpamvu yo kubaho nyina afite. Oh sometimes they decide to put up with it for a while but they are skeptical of the future. Ara magamba biri mu cyongereza bakoresha. So there are two kind of words they use in English. To be alone kuba wenyine na feeling lonely um feeling lonely kuba wenyine shoba kuba ndi nyine mu cyumba so i could be alone in my room ariko umuntu ashobora kuba ari mu itenero ryuzemo abantu bangana bacya bagera mu gihumbi but somebody could be in a congregation be as big as this akumva ari wenyine but he feels lonely ho muri gihe biki kivunge cyabantu abantu nabaririmbaga nabasirimbaga nabagira gabatse ariko ukumva ari wenyine ukumva ari wenyine neza neza you see people worshiping praising but on the inside you feel lonely okumvuri wenyine burundi you you feel absolutely lonely no tangira kuvuga se ubundi mbere yiho ikibundi mpamvu yo kuba ntampamvu yo kuba habona so there is no clear reason of existence living abayahuye na crise identity so you're facing the identity of christ the crisis identity chini chimubaho amaranga mutima ye asa natakara so the emotions are also hurt bishimisha abandi ntago bimushimisha so they tend to become indifferent ibinezi zamandi ntago bimuneze so what uh, makes others people don't touch them ariko nawe ntabwo ari wenyine but it's not them too ni byamugwiririye there are things that just came ntabwo yabihisemo they didn't choose that sikubwiye ko shobora kuba ari muri rusengero akaje yumva ari wenyine somebody could be in this church but feels lonely akumva nta muntu mukunda feels they are not loved akumva nta numwitayo no one cares every, no one cares kandi wamubona kuko tuzi kwimaska nk'abanyarwanda ari guseka ari unezerewe ariko muri we nta kigenda so they pretend to be okay but on the inside they're dying akumva nta kigenda they feel nothing's going on well ashaka ko afite umugore nta bimenye afite umugabo nta bimenye afite ababyeyi nti babimenye cyangwa ari naba wenyine ntagira n'ishuti ze ntibimenye so people may not know it you parents or different people you name it ikimuho kindi gikomeye rero atangira kugira kwimva byiyumvo bya insecurity and if that person feels insecure akumva afite umutekano muke muri we you feel less secure dugucuze amahoro the country is full of peace karitse nta wamugize iki the neighborhood is well ariko ibyumva biba byo bikamubwira ngo nta mutekano ufite but his thoughts tells him is insecure ibitekezo bikamubwira ngo nta mutekano ufite ubundi bwo mutekano the thoughts keeps telling him you're not secure ariko mutekano yabuze no w'imbere so but the lack of this the, the security is the inner man he has no peace ni wa mutekano w'imbere yabuze ntabwo ari winyuma that inner peace ara feeling insecurity muri we so it feels insecure ariko twaje kuvuga hejuru ya identity sha muri Kristo Yesu but we are speaking about the new identity in Christ Jesus ikindi kimubaho another thing that happens no kwiyongera kwibyiyumva byo guhangayika cyangwa gahindaga kabije so uh, excruciating pain or anguish kwiyongera kwa gahindaga kabije byiyumva byo gahindaga kabije kumva muzi ko mutima ugutonekara kumva umutima urakurya pain sometimes the heart is 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 hurting uvu mutima urakurya neza uruguhagazemo the heart hurts and you have no peace whatsoever agahindaga kabije excruciating pain bikiyongera ukagiyumvura tonekara and it keeps on increasing 
Ariko Paulo aratwandikiye hano but the apostle Paul wrote atubwira hejuru ya identity nsha twabonye muri Kristo Yesu speaking of the new identity we've been given in Jesus Christ Ni yo tujiye kuvuga this is what we're going to elaborate on Kuberako yuta 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 ishingiyeho because if you're not fa- fa- firmly found on that Biriya bindi byose binyeganyiza identity All those things can shake your identity Biriya byo birayinyeganyiza rwose May I add that things can shake your identity. Dandi cyaba garatia arabwira ngo ntabwo tukirata ikindi. So he addressed the, the the Galatians and says we are not boasting in any other thing. Kwira tumusaraba wa Kristo. We only boast in the cross of Jesus. Wo tumye byinshi bitubera nka bibambwe. So that's why we look the worldly things as if they are crucified. Crucified. And, when see you, and when they see you they see us as crucified so uh, where do we get our new birth our new birth is found on the cross jesus on the cross He said all those who are heavy laden not only there He gave birth to sons and daughters for God. That's has nothing to do with the has the, the intimacy. They were given they, they were given birth by the Holy Spirit. There's a law of nature. Yichinuchikugira for something to to be to be to be birthed it first has to die a seed must die first and then it will grow and produce man yes, so, so jesus on the cross yarapfuye he died so because he understands the law of nature kugira ngo abyara abahungu nabakobwa bamwitirirwa bavuke mu bundi buvuke bucyashye so that he may give birth to sons and daughters umwami yageze neza Mighty hands clap to the Lord. Our new birth is found at the cross. Why does Paul say that I, bo- I don't boast any other thing except the cross? Because there were so many things that was to boast about. So in Philippians he mentioned a lot of things he had a lot to boast about being a Hebrew Jew of Jew so many stuff So to speak he had a lot to be proud about Some of the things that caused the crisis Sometimes we we trust in worldly things or we worry much about the positions the worldly things this cut across it happens to everybody so what 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 does it mean to believe in worldly things you could believe in your job your family so all those positive things that you may base on hanyuma kwiganyira by'umubiri ni gute So what about worrying about worldly things? So lamenting or worrying about worldly things. You ask God, I, I don't understand this. So why didn't I have access to education like anybody else? Why do I live this kind of life? Why was I born in this family? So you complain and you don't see God's hand in everything. But God did not withhold anything. It's just that you compare yourself to others. So if we don't worry about worldly things, so sometimes we tend to believe to have trust in worldly things. So because we trust in worldly things, you could be rich today. You could have a lot in this world. Once you lose those things that you are leaning on, you will have a crisis. And that's how it is. That's what happens. Or worrying about the worldly things. Sometimes you see the world is where hate and hate So you f- you feel like you're not the one you're supposed to be. And you start 
lamenting about what is that is also somehow it's logical so if even if you don't want it might happen that's the law that's the law of nature that's how it is so that's how the world the world is so but what overcomes that you need to understand that your worth does, does not, not has nothing to do with education. It has nothing to do with what you are. Your worth it is, it is found in the blood of Jesus who redeemed you. So those things are temporary. Those who are a little... So you know what people believe in sometimes have a... So when you base on them... So you always have problems. So but people who've become so what the world can what people can so what people can so what people cannot take away it is what you became in Jesus Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the world cannot take it away. So seasons and times will not take, take it away. away. His true will not take it away. So you are the son of God today. And you remain the same. So you are the son of God when things are not going on. Even when you are going on. You are a son of God. So you have hope. In God. You are a child of God. You have hope for God. You have hope for You are the child of God when you're burning. You are the child of But you are the child of God. Father of nations. They will say he who was barren has given birth to a man. You are the child ch- the ch- of God seems to be loved. You are the child of God with hope of tomorrow, like God spoke to Jesus. Jacob was depending on was depending on uh, looking at the word, but God was telling him something more. I've come to tell you the identity that you're the child of God. Things that are frightening you. Things that are frightening you. So you have a new identity in Christ. Mighty hands clap to the Lord. The world has a lot of menaces. So many are things that trouble you, but how do you overcome them? We are the children of God, sons and daughters of God. We are the children of God. They who accepted him without any condition. He gave them the authority to be called sons and daughters. So those ones were are different. They were given birth. They were given birth. So they have a new birth. So their birth does not depend on the outside. So once Christ had um, heart to heart conversation with Nicodemus. Nicodemus did not know the identity, the new identity in Christ Jesus. Jesus asked him, you are the Pharisee, but you don't understand about the new birth. Nicodemus kept on asking, how can I be born again? I'm a grown-up man. How is that possible? 
And Jesus told him what was given birth to flesh is flesh, what was given birth to spirit is spirit. And Nicodemus was confused. And Jesus said to Nicodemus, do you, do you usually see the direction of the wind? He said, well, yeah, I see I see the wind blowing, but do you see its direction? Since you don't know the direction of the wind, so it, it is so by people who are given birth by the Holy Spirit. People who are born, given birth by the Holy Spirit, they don't know what They are children of God and he's like that. The Holy Spirit gave birth to us. So we, ha- we were given birth by the Spirit. Glory to God. So our, we were born at the cross. So as we wind up, we get close to finishing. Peter is explaining our identity in Christ. So he says, brethren, so you are chosen people, a royal priesthood. God's special position that God got out of darkness and break, brought them into a bright light. He says, once you are not people, you are not forgiven, but now you are forgiven. Let's try to analyze a little bit and see what Jesus was saying. So what was he saying that can, t- can save us from identity crisis? The first thing I got out of here so we have been accepted. We have been accepted. After being ex- expect, uh, accepted, we became the royal priesthood. Acceptance is something unique. So people are rejected. Sometimes people walk, but they feel they're not accepted. He's in a family, but he feels... The enemy keeps on whispering and telling them that they're not accepted. And sometimes people come to terms with it and say, by the way, what can people best feel? So you feel you're not accepted. But I want to tell you there is one who accepted you greater than, greater than other people. Jesus accepted you. He accepted you just the way you are. He accepted you just the way you are. He calls you his child. You're the child of God. Christ, you're related to Christ. Jesus accepted you. Touch your neighbor's hand and tell them Jesus accepted you. Jesus accepted me. Though people may not accept you, but Jesus accepted you. So those voices that tell you not accepted, you are accepted. Acceptance. Acceptance is something great. So a person may commit suicide due to the fact that they are not accepted by society. So a child may face that crisis if the father and the mother does not do not approve of them, they may. But Jesus accepted you without your involvement, and He brought you. In his heart. And He said, "Just believe in the blood. Believe on the word of God. So you become the child of God." We are accepted by God. Those are false voices telling you not accepted. So those voices are there telling you not accepted with a lot of accusations, but you are accepted. And these voices follow you depending on your, the category you're in. The category. Sometimes 
you're a handsome man, you're a beautiful woman, you know, but sometimes you feel not accepted. Another thing, you're valuable. You're valuable, you're of worth. You're of worth in the sight of the Lord. You're of worth. In spite of what you in spite of the names the world calls you, in spite of what people call you, you are of worth because of Christ. You are related to Christ. Glory to God. You are of worth. In the sight of the Lord, you are of great worth. You have great worth. Tell your neighbor you have great worth. So your, your worth is not counted in what you own. So Jesus does not see things the way people see them. It's just a matter of time. So once a singer said he lives, he's, he lives behind the times and seasons. So your, your, your worth it does not depend on what you're going through. Your worth is that there is a mark of blood of the lame of God. Can you clap for that? So the mark, the mark of the blood, you are of worth. You have worth. So your worth does not depend on what you own. It doesn't depend on your education. So experience new birth. In new birth, we don't count our value in what we own. And in new birth, we do have hope that we shall achieve what we achieve what the Lord has for us. You are of worth in the sight of God. Avoid those voices telling you that you don't have any worth in God. Another great thing. You are extremely loved. People lack love. In this scripture, you are extremely loved and valued. You are extremely loved. So one of the challenges is um, is face uh, is not being loved. Uh, being not when you're not loved, it's a great challenge. That is our emotions. That's how we are. When you're not loved, it's a problem. Sometimes people lose tend to lose hope because they feel. They're not loved. But I've come to tell you, Jesus loved you. And the Bible says we did not love God. We didn't love God first. But God loved us while we, st- while we were still sinners. He loved us while we were still sinners. With a dirty garment. We were bad, full of sins. But he loved us just the way we are. He he still loves us. So the singer in the hymn book, he once sang and spoke about the love of God. Jesus, hold me tight. Jesus holds me.
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have, you have been loved. Jesus is the one who holds you tight. That's where the love is. We did not love God first. But Christ loved us first. So he, he holds you tight. You can't hold him. So, so many times you wanted to let go. But his surpassing love. His love. Your love. He loved you. So keep those voices at bay that tells you not loved by God. At times your faith seems to dwindle or shrink. Tight. 
some of the things that help us to uh, to overcome the identity of crisis it is to know that we are loved I feel like shouting out loud to tell you that you're loved you're loved hallelujah glory to Jesus quiet and all the voices telling you not loved he doesn't love like people people are materialistic people are materialistic but God's love is pure people look at the benefits but God's love is pure so God loved us the mercies of God are still here so the mercies of God are increasing the world tells, tells you you're a sinner you're the mercy of the Lord are still there Peter said once you're not a people forgive but you have been forgiven through the blood of the Lord through the cross and Calvary so we don't post any other thing we post in the cross of Jesus where we got the mercy where we found the mercies glory glory lift up your hands glory glory in the cross let's glory the mercy glory the mercy We are seeing the love of God. 
are speaking of the mercies of God that is praising today the greatest another great thing we are about to pray the world tells you are not capable but the Lord is saying you are capable because the Bible says we can do all things through Christ who Christ. we can do all things through Christ the world says you're not capable but you're capable you're capable you're capable let us stand and pray there is a new birth a new life a new birth in Christ there is a new identity we found at the cross of Calvary we don't boast in any other thing we don't boast in any other thing except the cross of Jesus so we look at worldly things as if they are crucified so they see us and they, they think we are foolish and when we see the worldly so we see them as if they don't exist we see the worldly things as if they don't exist hallelujah when the, the world sees us it is as if we are but when we see them we see we see them as if they are crucified. That is the power of the cross. It's because of the power of the cross that we are born again. Glory. Glory. I also took time to believe in God. I took long to believe in God. every spirit that tells you you're not accepted they're going to drive it out you may not pray that much but believe in God and God will drive out the rejection the spirit of feeling that you're not accepted let us pray pray for your neighbor pray for the person right next to you there is healing power of Jesus right here there is delivering power there is life so this is a visitation moment so let's take advantage don't take it for granted so there is the divine visitation and I feel the, the prayers we are going to take 
we'll have great times with you. These are the laws that were commanded by the Lord. Can you pray for seven hours? Can you pray for seven hours? there is God's visitation his spirit God does it by himself so open your mouth and let's pray you're trustworthy oh God you're trustworthy these are your people so you told them many times some they were told they are not loved that they are not of worth but today we give new announcements we are, they are loved we have been loved the Lord loves you the spirit of fear is the spirit of fear is driving hear the word of God pain hear the word of God these are the people these are the holy people chosen by God everything oppressing them everything oppressing them right now today 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 we understand who we are we have understand who we rebuke you we rebuke the spirit of fear go pain disease go we must today so we have uh, we enter into the freedom of you have been born again born by an acrobatic the word of God. The word was given birth by the Spirit of the Spirit. These are your people, O oh God. Let them be led by the Spirit. Senga, senga. Pray, pray, pray. There is delivering power. Delivering power. Delivering power. Delivering power. Delivering power. Delivering power. That will usher him. Another noise. Another noise. Another noise. Another noise. Yes. Yes. Jesus keep working visit your people visit your people oh God those who are heavy laden wipe their tears away those who have been crying today your word has said you send your word you have sent your word in these hearts let them be set free lest the tears go away let them enter into the freedom of the tears thank you Jesus we love for you oh God we love for you as a God we love for you we love for you Shout of joy. Shout of joy. Shout of joy. We are the children of Shout of joy. We are the children of God. We are born again. Our hearts are heavy laden. We are born again. 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 We God bless you all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Round of applause to the Lord once more. A blessing upon the servant of God. Announce from Zion says you're deeply loved. You're deeply loved. You're loved. Oh, 
And everything was found from Christ at Golgotha. Praise God. We are very glad. Through his servant, we've been blessed. He has told us our identity. So once you understand who you are, so nothing scares you anymore. Amen. Amen. Tell your neighbor, fear not, you're loved, you're deeply loved by God. Thank you very much for healing the word of God. Thank you for coming. Our visitors, God bless you abundantly. May the love of God follow you forever. It's because you are the people of God. So remain the children of God. Those far and near believe in that be blessed if you believe in that in the name of Jesus be blessed by God in the name of Jesus round of applause to the Lord I believe they told you about the prayers we have so we shall have wonderful time to pray to pray during the day evening so, so we, we pray all kinds of prayers we shall pray to God so we'll be calling upon God and if he comes he will come through for us to everything hallelujah amen hallelujah so every prayer is valued in the sight of the Lord. When you pray something great happens. I believe we'll be able to come to make it. Let's come and pray to God. Please come and let's have good times. Let's all stand and pray. So greetings, greetings to our visitors. Telling, telling them to come back. Please come back. So that is your share. Maintain it. This is the house of the Lord.
Mana data turagushimiye. Turakunezerewe cyane. Wabanye natwe. Mwijambo rya. Wavuganye natwe. Kandi wakoze. Kuko nje kutumenyekanisha bo turibo. Watumenyesheje abo turibo. Ko tugomba kuba bo. Kugira ngo tubibe icyo turi cyo. Ijambo rya uri herekeze. Uri humugisha. Let it bear fruit. Let it perform one as a miracle. Bless your servant. Increase anointing. The whole church. Bless it, O Father. For this word of God. Since we are the children at home, may we be given everything the children are supposed to receive. Let thy love follow us. And wherever we go, we feel that we are valued and loved without anything to despise us. Thank, thank you for your with your sons and daughters. They are going to go separate ways to their homes. Bless them in this country. Bless our country, O oh Father. Strengthen it as you purpose. Bless it as you purpose. And Father, the, the, the leadership of the country, bless it and the the administration of the church as well so that we may be well Thank you, Father. All the programs ahead. Bless them. Manifest yourself as God. And in due time, may we all come together and the country at large and celebrate the victory for God purposes good things. We are here to receive. Thank you, Father. We love for you as a token of appreciation. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Amen.